Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about bipolar junction transistor or the short form of that is BJT. So let's first discuss about the basic definition of a bipolar junction transistor. Now <clears throat> a BJT or a transistor is a three layer three terminal and two junction semiconductor device. So from this we understand that there are three layers involved. It has three terminals and two junctions or two interface. And uh, it is formed by sandwiching a p-type or n-type semiconductor in between a pair of semiconductors of opposite types that is either you can sandwich a n type semiconductor in between two p type semiconductors or a p type semiconductor is sandwiched in between two n type semiconductors now the current flow or the flow of electrons or the the current flow the mechanism by which the current flows is due to both type of charge carriers that is both electrons and holes and that is why it is called as a bipolar device so there are three uh, two terms that are involved in the bjt bipolar junction transistor bipolar because it involves the movement of both electrons and holes and as two junctions are formed one is the junction which is formed between each of the p-type or n-type opposite type of semiconductors. So two junctions are formed between each of the opposite type of semiconductors. That's why it is called as a bipolar junction transistor. Now <clears throat> the BJTs or the bipolar junction transistors are of two types as I said. PNP type which is formed by sandwiching a N type semiconductor in between two P type semiconductors and a NPN type where a P type semiconductor is sandwiched in between two N type semiconductors. So this is the uh, schematic diagram of uh, a NPN type transistor here it is a P type element which is sandwiched in between two N type semiconductors. An important thing to remember is that there are two junctions which are formed in this BJT which is formed this is one junction or interface and this is another junction three layers two junctions and three terminals okay we will discuss about these terminals in uh, uh, detail this is a NPN transistor these are the biasing voltages which are applied V double E which is applied at the input junction and V double C subscript double C which is applied at the output junction similarly this is a PNP transistor where there is a n type semiconductor which is sandwiched in between two P type semiconductors now the symbol for the NPN and PNP transistor are as follows. Now, this is the symbol for a NPN transistor. So we will discuss about these terminals. So just have a uh, idea about it. This is the emitter terminal E. This is the base terminal B and this is the collector terminal. The emitter is the source of electrons and the collector is the collector or the uh, sink acts as a sink for electrons source and sink. So here in the NPN transistor the arrow uh, the arrowhead on the emitter is directed outwards whereas in PNP same convention emitter base collector but the arrowhead is pointed towards the base here in NPN the arrowhead is away from the base here it is towards the base so next we will discuss about uh, the 
terminals of BJT in detail. Now, the BJT consists of three parts or three terminals <laughs> emitter, base, and collector. Okay. Now, the emitter region. So, just to have a look at here, this is the uh, general NPN. We are, I have discussed NPN configuration here. BJT consists of three terminals the emitter, base, and collector. Now, the emitter is heavily doped with impurities as it has to act as a source of the majority charge carriers. In case of NPN, the majority charge carriers are electrons, whereas in PNP, the majority charge carriers are holes. So, as we are discussing the NPN configuration, so the majority charge carriers are electrons and uh, it acts as a source for electrons so it is heavily doped now the base region is uh, very thin as compared to the other two regions that is emitter and collector now the base is doped with positive impurity that is p-type impurity so uh, in the base region there is some electron hole recombination which takes place so its main objective is to direct the charge carriers which are uh, which come from the emitter side towards the collector to facilitate current flow and to absorb as less electrons as possible due uh, by electron and hole annihilation. Now, the collector. The collector is moderately doped as compared to the other two regions that is emitter and base. Its uh, doping concentration is in between the emitter and that of the base. It is less than that of the emitter but more than that of the base. Now, as you notice here, the collector has the highest area occupying in the PNPN transistor configuration. Same is the case for PNP. The area of the collector or the size of the collector is very high. As it collects the majority charge carriers that is electrons in the NPN configuration, a large amount of heat will be produced. So, in order to dissipate the heat efficiently and uh, to prevent the heating of the uh, semiconductor or the BJT device, it has a large amount of area. So, in this case, uh, as we, we will discuss the operation of the BJT or how the current flow takes place. So, we are here we have is the emitter, base and collector. As you see here, the emitter is N-type, the base is P-type and the collector is anti. An important property of bipolar junction transistor is that the input junction that is the in case of common base that is whatever configuration you use here we have used the common base configuration the base terminal is common to both sides. Similarly we can have the common emitter and the common collector configuration. Here we have discussed the common base configuration or CB configuration where the base terminal is common to both sides. So, an important property of uh, BJT is that the input junction is always forward biased and the output junction is always reverse biased. Here how is it? Uh, it is forward biased. The n-type end, the negative end is connected to the negative terminal of the power supply or the voltage supply and here the p-type end or the positive end is connected to the positive terminal. The emitter is connected to the negative terminal, the base which is positive is connected to the positive terminal. Similarly, the output junction is reverse biased. So, the reverse process is followed. The positive end, the positive base end is connected to the negative terminal of the supply and the negative collector is connected to the positive supply. 
so now we are going to see how the current flow takes place so as the negative end is connected to the emitter which is uh, which majority car uh, charge carriers are electrons so it repels the electrons in the end type region of the emitter towards the base as we know negative negative or like uh, like things they repel each other so the negative uh, terminal or the negative voltage it repels the electrons in the emitter towards the base towards the right direction so as a result an emitter current flows in the opposite direction as we know the direction of conventional current is opposite to the flow of electrons so as the electrons approach the base some amount of electrons are involved in electron hole annihilation nearly 5% of electrons are consumed in this process 5% of electrons that travel from the emitter towards the base they get annihilated by the holes in the base or the p type region this causes base current to flow in the same direction as the flow of electrons Uh, uh, the flow of electric current is same as the direction of flow of holes we discussed it in the semiconductor physics part the direction of flow of current is same as the direction of flow of holes so due to this electron hole recombination some amount of base current flows now the base current magnitude is very less the remaining 95% electrons from the base move towards the collector so as they move towards the collector <laughs> collector current flows in the opposite direction to the flow of the as the electrons move in this direction the collector current flows in this direction so this is the mechanism of current flow now when we apply kcl here we get the equation the summation of collector current and base current is equal to the emitter current okay so ic plus ib equals to ie now another important thing related to bipolar junction transistor is that in case of npn transistors the collector current and the base current are directed towards the transistor approaching the transistor whereas the emitter current it is directed away from the transistor or the bjt it moves away so in case of pnp it will be opposite ic and ib will move away from the transistor and ie will move towards the transistor as holes are involved in pnp electric current flows due to migration or movement of holes in npn the electric current flows due to movement of electrons so this is the general operation of npn common base configuration bjt now similarly you can also uh, try the same process using common emitter and common collector configuration now another some few important points related to uh, bjt is that a bjt is a current control device so almost all of the parameters of bjt can be regulated by controlling the collector base and emitter currents so it is a current control device if we control these three parameters we can control every other aspect of bjt every other aspect of bjt depends on these three values and uh, the input impedance is low in case of bjt the reason is obvious as it is forward biased we discussed the input junction is forward biased so gen so the input impedance will be obviously low now as the output junction is reverse biased the output impedance will be high now all the major current flow in bjt is because of diffusion rather than drift so all the currents are of diffusion type and the current conduction in pnp transistor is due to holes whereas in npn is electrons as i said earlier so here i discuss some of the basic things related to bjt 
in my next video i will discuss about the characteristics of uh, bjt and uh, pnp transistor operation also i will discuss in this video i discussed about the npn transistor and uh, i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorials for more such videos related to electronics and electrical engineering and have a great day thank you